Hey guys, it's Extreme Strategy here, and welcome to a cinematic battle for Total War Warhammer 3. And this is going to be one heck of a fight. We are going to have Korn going up against Cathay, and what I believe is the uh, Eagle Gate, I believe it is called. And this massive, just massive, Grand Cathay settlement build, or settlement. It goes all the way back here. I believe this might have even been used in one of the uh, fights that the game developers did for pre-release advertisement. But anyway, I am playing as Scarbrand the Exiled. This massive honking red fire demon right here. This big bad boy. And I have some of these Exalted Blood Letters of Corn, with some Chaos Warriors of Corn. The rest of the Chaos Warriors of Corn are in these siege towers over here, who apparently are on massive piles of skulls, and they have uh, fire and lava inside of them. I would not want to be inside one of those, but hey, I'm not the one who actually has to be inside of there. Then I got two of these Skull Crushers, which are basically massive dogs, I believe, that are being ridden by the Warriors of Corn. You have a Skull Crusher, or a Skull Cannon, which is a massive artillery piece. Then there are these uh, three Minotaurs of Corn. Back here we got some Blood Letters, or sorry, Blood Thirsters. These are the Blood Letters, these are the Blood Thirsters. And then my ally has a similar army comp with soul, a soul grinder, a skull cannon, some chaos warriors of corn, some skull crushers, some more chaos warriors, exalted blood letters, some exalted blood letters over there. The enemy armies, we have the brother and sister uh, over here, Z Zhao Ming and uh, Xiaoming and Miaoying, and under uh, Xiaoming's command, there are Celestial Dragon Guards, there are some of these Crane Gunners, got some of the Fire Rockets that are the Fire Rain Rockets back here, there are also going to be some of these Celestial, yep, here we go, Celestial Crossbowmen, or Celestial Dragon Crossbowmen, and some of the massive Terracotta Sentinels. I believe back here, for uh, Miao Yang has some of the Sky Lanterns, and her rest of her army is Jade Warriors, some of these uh, War Compasses, and then there are some more Jade Warriors, Jade Crossbowmen, and I believe somewhere I gave her Jade Lancers, but I cannot seem to find them. Oh, here they are. No, I did not give her Jade Lancers. I gave her Great Longmo Riders. Never mind. I did this battle a few times before I came with to one that I was content with, so that's why I'm getting a little bit confused here. Anyway, we're, we're gonna hit play, clear out all the stuff, and just let you enjoy the awesome cinematic shot, our views and shots and just the destruction and the rockets as rockets pour into the cornea mines over here. Not really killing anything. I don't think they actually killed anything, period. I think they all got right back up. And Scarbrand is taking a beating. But he doesn't care. He just reaches the gate and is going to start smashing it. Some of the poor archers up here are getting ripped apart by some uh, bloodthirsters. Yeah, see, they're bloodthirsters. Who are just going to drink all of their blood. You know, totally not at all like a vampire, because bloodthirsters have no connection to vampire leagues, of course. And you have a bloodthirster, blood if I can ever... Ah! Come back here! Where are you? I hope you're just a normal bloodthirster, never mind. I thought he was the... I could have swore that was... The... Is that... Where is the ally... other ally general? 
No, it is this guy right here. Exalted Bloodthirster and a Bloodthirster. Okay. Got it. Now that we have that figured out. More rockets coming up over here. Are the rockets coming out of the towers? The rockets coming out of towers. But you have the sky lanterns back here shooting their missiles. Of course, there's no one really out here much. And the guards down here are just being destroyed by some massive demons. Bloodthirsters. They're all very thirsty for blood. And here comes the Soul Grinder. With a bunch of these uh, Coronate Blood Letters. Also one of the artillery pieces, the Skull Cannons, is sitting right here. And you have one of the Fire Rockets. Alright. And there's some guys just standing here like, yeah, we're just gonna watch our friends die. We don't care. We should. Because even this Soul Crusher over here is going to rack up some kills by plowing people over. Actually, I don't know what he's doing. And over here, trying to do some damage to all of these boys over here. Do as much damage as possible. And that guy just got kicked. I think he was kicked, or he just got smashed by the butt of an axe and sent flying. Not what I would want to feel. There we go. Oh, hit the ground and make everyone tremble. This guy over here is beginning to disintegrate. However, Scarbrand, he doesn't care. He's just gonna keep on doing damage, just his name is Scarbrand. That's exactly what he does. Brand scars onto people. And over here, we have a blood thirster and a gold uh, crusher fighting. I believe this is Meow Ying. Meow Ying, yes. In our storm dragon form. And did he just shoot lasers out of his eyes? Oh. Knock him back into the war compass. Yeah, that's a brilliant idea. Oh, he just keeps knocking him into the war compass. This poor war compass. He's getting knocked around by a massive demon. And then you hit your own war compass. Wow. This poor war compass. I feel kind of bad for it. That was kind of sad. Massive lightning strike over here, hitting all these guys. Not that they really care much. They're just standing around. Over here, the, the uh, gates were breached and all of the guys have poured through and are tearing apart uh, the Jade Guard. All Jade Guard at this point can see are red. I think that's all that any of the Cathayans see now is red. They see all of the blood letters and the Cornate units. Except for the Sky Junks. The Sky Junks can still have a clear view of everything that's just happening. Oh, and uh, Xiao Ming goes down. Wait, why is everything happening in slow motion? How did I set this to slow motion? Anyway. And over here, the mega awesome power of Horn is displayed and as a massive sword slams into the ground, releasing a shockwave. And then it dissolves. But that is one of my, in my opinion, one of the coolest abilities in the game. Just that massive sword falling from the sky and creating a shockwave. That outdoes the summonings, that outdoes everything. Over here, the Celestial Guard are trying to fight. Oh, sorry, the Celestial Dragon Archers are trying to fight. But not doing too well. I see where that Skull Crusher that was over here was. Uh, pause the game real quick. 
apparently he must have died. Nope, he did not. He is over here. So Skull Crusher got 20 kills in his massive rampage. Over here, the momentum is building up. What supply point have we taken? Oh, we took the supply point over here. Nice. There's another one of these pushover war using war compasses that uh, don't do a very good job. Well, what all else? What all is left of the enemy? And what's this spell over here? Uh, some warrior, you're, those guys are shattered. These guys over here are about to break. These are breaking. Breaking and shattering, basically. The sky lanterns are still in it. Oh! Uh, Zhao Ming, the iron dragon, is over here. Looking to potentially, uh... I don't know what he's looking to potentially do. Looking to have a good place to flee to, I guess. That's exactly what he's doing. He's just sitting out here, roaring. And now he starts flying away, probably because I believe he is breaking. Oops, that is the wrong button. He's shattered, sorry. And with that, the battle is won as all of the um, uh, Cathayan warriors shattered. Kill count wise, Scarbrand got 48 kills, 36, 9, and 21 for Bloodthirsters, 33 for a Skull Crusher, and 0 for a Skull Crusher. That's a uh, big difference. One did his job, and the other one didn't. 7, 6, and 7 for Minotaurs of Corn. They're very tanky, but they didn't do as much as I wanted. The Exalted Bloodletters get got 17, 50, 42, or 50, 40, and 2. The Occultist got 10. Skull Cannon got 0, 1, 2, 5, 3, and 2 for the Chaos Warriors of Corn. What about my ally? Did he do better? Oh my goodness, 128 kills. Wow. Go, Exalted Bloodletter. I mean, he himself only got 9. And his Bloodthirsters got 8 and 9, but 128. Rank 3, you deserve it, dude. 55, 46, 22, and 27. Nice. The Blood Reaper got 3. Soul Grinder got 20. This one got 0. A 32 on a Skull Crusher and a 20 on another. And see, this makes no sense. This one got 12 more kills and reached 4 ranks higher than the Skull Crusher. And a 47 over here, with, which has more kills, but only got 1 XP rank. If someone knows why that is, let me know in the comment section below. 0 for a Skull Cannon, 17, 1, 17, 20, and 5. For the Chaos Warriors of Corn. For the Cathayans, anything major? A 39 on a Fire rock, Rain Rocket. Uh, they, this aren't, Zhao Ming's army did terrible. What about Miao Yang's? Same. Well, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like button, subscribe, go check out my Discord, go follow me on my Facebook page. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.